Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. If you're new here, my name is Misha. I do videos all about sustainability and veganism and all around planet health. So today, as you can see from the title, I am doing a review on the new switch that Misfits Market has made again. So they've switched a couple times in the last year or so. And this, if you are familiar with Imperfect Produce, has switched to a very similar style to Imperfect Produce. So you are picking the item at a specific price um, and filling up your shopping cart. If you have under $30, they actually don't send you anything. If you have under $30 worth of stuff, after you eclipse that $30, limit then they will send you a box you can go obviously as high as you want to um, the shipping is four dollars and fifty cents so um, I think that's pretty comparable I think imperfect used to be eight dollars actually I think it's down to five if you want me to do a comparison between imperfect and misfit let me know in the comments below and I will definitely do that to show you which one is the better value right now I'm leaning towards misfits usually they have a little bit higher quality produce especially if that's what you're actually getting the box for. If you're getting the box for other commercial items, then it might be different for you. But from what I have seen, I will show you what I mean after I get done showing you the haul that I got, but you can go through and choose an item based on the percentage off it is. So I'm really cheap. If you've already watched my videos, you know that. So most of the things that I've gotten, unless I actually like really need them or traditionally they're a lower cost item anyways, um, they're around 50% or more off and all of the produce that I got was organic. So let me show you what I got and then I'll come back at the end and we'll talk a little bit more. All right, let's go through this and see what we got here. So let's start over here. I got a gourmet blend. This has like... Oh, you can see right there. Baby Bell, shiitake, and oyster mushrooms. I plan on making a mushroom stroganoff, so I got that. Thought that would be good for it instead of just doing traditional mushrooms, which I also got some Baby Bells here, which will be good if I need more than just this as well. I got a few red bell peppers. These are a little bit small, but otherwise pretty good. So these gourmet blend for four ounces was $2.19. These baby Bellas were $1.99 and these were $1.39 for two. So it's still a pretty good deal. Usually you can't find them under a dollar, especially for organic. And then I got this bunch of cilantro here. My husband really likes cilantro. That was 89 cents. I got some grape tomatoes, which are still a little bit orange, but that'll be fine. They'll ripen up just fine. Those were $1.49, so that was a pretty good deal as well. We got some broccoli. This was $1.69, organic. Everything was organic that I got, so take that into consideration when you're looking at prices or when you're hearing my prices. We got some scallions for $0.79, cents, I believe. We got some zucchini for $1.19 for both of them. The yellow summer squash was $1.19 as well. These green bell peppers were 99 cents for both of them. Those are pretty good size, a little bit bigger than the red ones. These two heads of romaine were 99 cents each. As you can see, they're a little bit brown here. I don't think that's like mold or anything. I think it's just part of it, so it's probably fine to eat. I will probably take it off, but that's one of those imperfect or misfit parts of it. Got a few avocados. These are supposed to be large Haas avocados. I guess for organic, they're probably large. But those were at $2.49, one of the more expensive items. Got some Yukon gold potatoes. All of these potatoes were $0.79. Cents. And then I got a ton of pears. So I got three orders. All nine of these pears were $2.37. And then I got three gala apples. They were $1.49. And then my last produce item here, I got a mini watermelon. As you might have seen in one of my last videos, my husband said watermelon doesn't smell like anything. So we're going to crack this open and see if he changes his mind at all. And then the last item that we got here was... This base culture gingerbread almond butter. 
I try to stay away from almond items, but in cases like this where it's oversourced or something that otherwise it would end up in the landfill, I decided to get it. It's just roasted almonds, coconut sugar, ginger, cinnamon, sea salt, nutmeg, and cloves. So pretty minimal ingredients. This was $4.19, so not a bad price. This watermelon was $2.99, and I think I caught the prices for everything else. So everything that you see here was actually only $30 in like 49 cents or something like that for all organic items, which you really can't be. It costs $4.50 to ship everything. So again, still not that bad. Um, and again, it's all organic. So pretty hot deal. So did I mention that it was organic produce enough times for you to never forget it? As you can tell, I'm pretty impressed by the fact that I got such a great deal on organic produce. Now, if I were to go to the store, I usually don't pick organic produce because it's so stinking expensive. I just can't rationalize it even though I know that's what I should do. And I try to do that more often. However, when it comes down to it, sometimes I just don't. So hopefully this was helpful for you to be able to see kind of what you would be able to get with 30 bucks or even more so. I think it was a really great deal. Again, I got some things that were 50 to 70% off from their retail price, so I thought that was great. And yeah, like I said, I have a coupon code down below, and if you want me to do a comparison between Imperfect Produce and Misfits, I will definitely do that for you, so just let me know in the comments down below. If you saw my video a couple weeks ago where my husband said that watermelon doesn't smell like anything, stick around and I will show you after I cut into the watermelon I got to see if he changed his mind. Other than that, thanks so much for watching. Please give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. It really helps my channel. I really appreciate you watching and I will see you next time. Bye guys. True tests, ladies and gentlemen. Does a watermelon smell? Yeah. You said it didn't smell. It smells. The rind more so than the inside. Do you remember what summer smells like? It smells. It definitely smells. Okay, so can you admit on camera that you're wrong? I don't remember ever saying that, <laughs> but assuming I did, I was wrong. <laughs> okay. Watermelons don't really smell like anything either, you know? Yeah, they do. Not bad.